welcome to today's video. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. How the devil are you? We've been full doing loads of Christmas shop with me. So this is a little bit of a different video. A lot of you requested a Christmas decorate with me. I didn't do a Halloween one this year. I don't think I did anyway. And a few people missed it, so I'm gonna do a Christmas one. So that's what this is. I've got on my Merry Christmas jumper from Sainsbury's. I've got on some old Christmas earrings. I don't know where the Christmas earrings are from. I don't know if you're like me and you wouldn't sport Christmas earrings and they just appear over Christmas. I don't know where they're from, but they're in my jewellery box. I'm like, gonna shove them on. Put a little bit of makeup on for you. So this video is a culmination of clips that I've been filming and today we're gonna be checking, the, um, putting the tree up. So checking out all the decorations, getting them all out. Hoping that they have not broken because some of these Disney decorations are a bit, Peter Pan will lose a leg. Chip will lose an arm, <laughs> so I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're gonna be there and safe. Um, also, the tiny Christmas village, I put that up with Erin. What else can I show you? Oh, my mugs, my Christmas mugs, they're festive. So I want you to stop this video, go and grab a hot drink, go and grab a hot chocolate, go and grab a mince pie. If you're in bed, snuggle in, because you're gonna have a cozy decorate with me. If you're expecting something aesthetic, this is not it. If you're expecting something just cosy, Christmassy, haphazard, wonky and traditional, I'm your girl. Oh my gosh, it's like you've walked into a garden centre but the garden centre is actually my house. I have got the boxes of Christmas decorations so I'm not putting up the tree today as I'm filming this section. That's going to be another day and they've got a whole other box. This is just decorations for the kitchen, for the shelves in the living room, pretty much for everywhere else downstairs apart from the tree. And I'll probably put a few bits in my bedroom. My plan, first of all, so I've, I've kind of sectioned them all out. It makes sense to me. We've got trees, we've got gnomies, we've got, oh hang on, there's another tree section. Ignore it, the, it it's, it's, makes sense in my head. My plan now is I'm going to take all these down, clean the shelves, clean over there, and all of this is going to be moved over here. So I'm going to have, oh, focus, I'm going to have all the um, plants and stuff on these shelves. And then tomorrow, this is where the tiny village is going to go. This shelf, this shelf, and over there, and maybe up on the fridge if there's not enough room. So I need to move all of those over there. Um, let's do that first of all. Oh my gosh, this is looking plant heavy. <laughs> so I've just moved the plants over here and just to get them out of the way, clean those shelves over there. Uh, <laughs> this is looking like something from a botanical garden. But also, I'm quite excited because the plants are much easier for me to look after here. So this will stay like this just for the festive season. Cleaned all that, cleaned that over there, and then tomorrow, which will be still in this video, Erin um, and I are gonna get the tiny village out there. The boys have just brought down the Christmas tiny houses for me, and I'm just currently taking them out the box, popping in any that need batteries. Um, they are off to go and watch the villa. Up the villa! Up the villa! So they're getting ready in scarves and wrapping up warm, and me and Erin are going to put the tiny village out. So I'm going to get them all out of the boxes, make sure any that need batteries have any batteries, make sure any bits that have fallen off, because sometimes bits can snap off on these, they're very delicate, and get them ready to put up. We've had a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a casualty in the hot cocoa stand, so try not to super glue my own hand, which I have done. I'm going to try and super glue this uh, tree back on and um, you do have to be careful with these things actually i'm not sure it's going to work but i'm going to try and <laughs> try to super glue that arm yeah i don't think it's going to work i probably need maybe need some sort of special glue but yes these things are very delicate and often just little a flag will fall off or a tree will fall off so you do have to keep the box if you're going to get them to store them okay my plan is i'm going to have this little shelf over here as like a Christmas holiday camp or something. So I'm gonna have like the tree farm, probably the tree, the tree pit. The, some, the issue with this thing is sometimes the people <laughs> are too big to fit in. And I think I'm gonna have 
my little like caravan. Do you think those kind of all go together? No, that's Father Christmas's house. Oh yeah, it's got to be important. <laughs> um, so that is the plan, and then the other two are going to go up here, and I've got a snow blanket from Poundland. So I'm going to put the houses out first, and then add the people second. Yeah, but I'm going to have that like a holiday destination with like trees. Mm -hmm. Yay, I love it. Here you go, guys. You may have already seen this on Instagram. But here are the tiny houses for this Christmas. Um, shall I, this might be boring, so if you're not interested, you may want to skip off this. But I'm just going to go through each house individually so you know what's what and why we've got them. First of all, we'll start over here. We've got a little forest and my friend Jocelyn bought me the tree, what do you call it? Tree cutter, what's a tree cutter called? Oh, I'm a lumberjack and a, a lumberjack in a little forest with his mate. And then over here we have an adoption centre for when we got Margot. Stephen bought me a village library for when my book was released. My friend Sheila bought me um, Lucy's chocolate shop. I think that was last Christmas. Um, up here are ones that the kids and I have chosen. This year we've gone for the Claws Cottage, which you might have seen in the vlog we did. Can you see? They're in there. Um, so that, those are the main shelves. However, I did see somebody do them in their kitchen. A lot of people tag me on Instagram. Somebody had all their tiny houses up here, which would be a really good idea. And I'm, I mean, where would I put all the kitchen stuff? That's, uh, we would, we'd have to worry about that next year. But that might be quite an idea because you could fit a lot up here. So I might do that next year. And this section here is like a holiday camp, I thought. It was, I don't know why. Um, it's a little bit dark. I hope you can see we've got a tree farm, which I think was last year's choice. This is the first one I ever had and Stephen bought it me. And we've got, um, you know, a couple hanging out. So I thought that was very cute. The tree is now up in the corner. I say this every year. It's massive. Also, I think I need to fluff it. It's uh, <laughs> it's looking a little, yeah. So um, Stephen um, has taken Ethan to a club with Grandad Rog, as in a sports club, not as in like a nightclub. And Erin's at a club as well on a Saturday. So I thought I'd surprise them and um, get this all done nicely. They have their own trees and we tend to put that up kind of like first or second week of December, mm, you know, just after my birthday. Uh, we'll put, they'll have that in their rooms and it's all decorations. I'll try and show you if I remember. If I don't show it on here, I'll definitely show you on Instagram. It's all decorations they've collected over the years. So ones that we had when they were babies, ones where we've gone out to places and they have chosen them themselves. But I'm just gonna fluff up this and then here are the decorations in the boxes. I need to, I don't tend to put the Christmas lights on without Stephen, but I'm gonna have to try, aren't I? That is a little bit of a worry, but you're here to help me, but I mean, you're not here. I mean, she's certainly not gonna help. Where's she gone? Margot is certainly not gonna help. So I'm gonna fluff it and then try and work out how the flipping heck to put, uh, ugh. The Christmas lights. Where are the Christmas lights? Some stockings. I think the Christmas lights are in here somewhere. So I'm going to put those up. I'm already a failure. I'm already a failure. I can't work out that we have got so many strings of Christmas lights. I feel that some of them are for outside. I don't know if this massive pile here is for the tree. But then I just thought, do you know what, before I put them all on, I'll check them. And I just plugged it in and it didn't work. So I'm going to have to wait, I think, for Stephen to come and help me with the lights. <sighs> Call myself a feminist. Can't even flip in sort of Christmas tree light out. I'm going to have to wait for him. He's going to be back probably in about 15 minutes. So that shouldn't be too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the decorations, see which ones I want to put, put them all in piles. And then once the lights are on, I can just crack on with it. But yeah, I was like, 
we have like seven different types of lights here. I don't know if some are for outside, so I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to go through the baubles whilst watching The Crown, which sounds a perfectly lovely way to spend 15 minutes. As predictive, and I think some of these were actually from last year already broken. Tink's lost her feet. <laughs> no matter how much I wrap them up. So I'm this one I think I can rectify. I'm going to just get a sharpie and colour those bits in red that is from a disney cruise these things are so delicate so i'm going to put that to the side she is going to live very happily um maybe i can just pop them on the back i do feel a bit sad about them not being on there i could just mm. let me know if you've got any suggestions I think Stitch can probably stay, we have got a lot of Stitch decorations, but I think Stitch can also be saved with a bit of Sharpie. And yeah, I might put these on the back of the tree, so they're still living on there. <laughs> I've got all the decorations out, so I have like ones from holidays. So for example, this is from a Disney trip. This is from a Disney trip. And also this one is, I have, um, like Primark ones I've collected over the years. These one I got in the Shop Disney sale. These are also very old from the shop. Very old these are from the Shop Disney sale. Um, and then down here I've got, I'm just going to go, this year I think I'm just going to do red and white. So I've got lots of different Disney baubles in here. Maybe red, white and black. Um, maybe just red and white. I've got candy canes as well. Um, and in here, I've got all sorts of baubles. So there's lots of white ones in there. So I think I'm going to take some of the white ones out of there. <laughs> I don't know why Mar Margo's like proper wagging her tail. Like she's well up for the excitement. Um, so I just need to wait for Stephen now to do come and help me with the fairy lights. Hooray! I just got some Sharpies. And I've managed to salvage that one. This one's not, but you know what? I think it's fine because Stitch has like little rips in his ears and I just cut at the bottom of that in as well. So I think if you merge it in with the tree, no one's going to know she So I th I'm very pleased and um, I think I might have to get some bubble wrap to actually start wrapping these things up individually. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Stephen's back. <laughs> The dog does this when someone's at the door. That scared the life out of me. Then a hero comes along. <laughs> Good job. I did not put this. But these look like they could be used for the Blackpool Illuminations. There's so many of them. Massive, isn't it? They're massive. So Stephen's found the actual ones. I don't know where these are from, where we got them from, why we have them. But Stephen's found the official lights. But yeah, this was a little bit, a little bit. I'm glad I didn't put them on. I feel very pleased with myself. I've, I've coloured a few of their heads and stuff in today because people have been losing limbs and things in the... Uh, I think we're going to have to start bubble wrapping them. What are you looking, what are you looking for? You want your dinner, don't you? A treat time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, the boys are just... Uh, Ethan's having a post-club bath. Um... We put them, oh, I feel like we could do with some more twinkles, to be honest. Uh, we do have them on the mirror as well. I, I feel like we could perhaps do with some more, but no, that looks nice. I'm going to put the decorations on now and I'm going to like take one from each pile so they're separated. Or like take one pile and separate them all a bit so they're not all in the same area. There's, there's logic to my madness. currently debating tinsel <laughs> I've got to, so I've gone for the Disney decorations and then just literally reds 
and whites and like candy cane lines, spotty ones. And I'm debating tinsel. I don't know if I've got enough tinsel. Oh, maybe like this year is vintage. So I might put it on. I've also put a little bow at the top, but I think I might replace it with this giant bow at the top. Uh, so I'm gonna try with tinsel and then see what I think. Somewhere, somewhere in the house, there is a tree bot skirt that has a Disney one. I know it. Where is it? I don't know. So I'm gonna put this one on. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, I'm watching The Crown. It's uh, Diana, the Diana episodes. Um, so I'm gonna give this a quick rush before I put it under D. Ethan's just coming and admired the tree. I'm gonna put the vacuum around because it might be a fake tree, but it still leaves a lot of rubbish everywhere. So I'm gonna put the vacuum around, um, get Stephen to move the boxes upstairs, and then I'll show you everything. We will be putting some decorations up outside and this year I wanted some really big baubles for all of our trees outside so I have gone for these and I think you might have seen these in a home bargains haul you should have seen these in. So I'm going to put those up outside with a the red and gold theme. Looking forward to that with some twinkly lights. That won't be done till December. Um, so I do, we tend to do that a bit close to Christmas rather than in November. The tree is up. I did post it on my Instagram when I did say on my stories that I was going to go through a little bit more in depth where we get our decorations from um, as, you know, I've had to colour in some of them. But I'll just show some of them. So, for example, I think this is a Disney. So every time we go on a, a holiday we get a Disney decoration. Yeah, I did, I've gone through these, haven't I? And then um, Shop Disney is always really good. Towards the end of December, really, stuff starts going on sale. These decorations were incredibly expensive. I had my eye on them for ages. Then they went in the sale, and then they came back like full price the next year. So definitely keep your eye open. Primark also have some really nice decorations. These felt ones are fantastic, because these, you know, are gonna last a long time. They're not gonna smash. Um, Erin just, Erin was like, oh my gosh, I love that one. We've got him and um, Winnie the Pooh. And also, I really like this Jack Skellington one. I've not had a Jack Skellington um, tree decoration. I've got a couple this year. This is another good option, like a wooden one. That'll last really well. I managed to put Peter in and Tink's just round the corner. So I have kept them. I've kept them on the tree. I've, I, got, I got weirdly guilty. I thought, oh my gosh, they'd be really sad if I... <laughs> if I didn't put them up for Christmas. Um, this was one I loved. And I actually saw this in Walt Disney World and I didn't get it because it was quite expensive. This is a Disney 100 decoration. Um, and it is the Mickey Mouse Club. You know, M-I-C-K-E-Y. Are we in focus, Mickey? I'm not sure I'm in focus. I'm going to try and... I can't tap it because I'm holding him. Hang on. Can't tap it because I'm holding my camera. Um, but throughout the year with Shop Disney, if you if you look, and I'll always try and put it on my stories, if there's offers, sometimes it's like spend a certain amount of money, get a free decoration, spend a certain amount of money, get some free mini ears. And that was actually one of the free, the free little presents I got. So I was really pleased because, as I said, I wanted it in Walt Disney World. It was a lot of money and I, I got it for free, so good so let's just take a step back oh gosh you saw me washing in the background then um oh yeah my washing basket quick forget forget it you can't see it you can't see it you can't see it so yeah it's a very traditional we've just gone red uh white and silver we've got a white if i can find there is definitely a disney one somewhere upstairs with mickey heads on i know it so i need to try and find it and a little train here from primark but it's just a very traditional, mismatched Disney tree. And then on the mantelpiece, we've just got some bits and bobs we've collected over time. We've got some nutcrackers. We've got some trees, which I think Stephen and I got when we went to Copenhagen for my 40th. We've got all my plants. I am actually propagating some plants at the moment. For how are they, get, how are they getting on? Is any roots coming? My plant in the um in the bathroom had some babies 
So I'm going to try and propagate these to be, oh, Christmas presents. So that is the plan. And in the new year, I will do a video, um, kind of like a homey video. And I will talk more about plants because I find plants, it's just a really nice thing to hand, have in your house. I think that'd be a really good thing to chat about. This one is just stunning. And I have moved it. <laughs> You're like, Emma, you're supposed to be talking about Christmas. Well, I've... I've digressed. I did move it from over there and I'm wondering. Sometimes when I move plants, they die. They get really used to where they used to live and then you move them and they're like, I'm not happy anymore. I'm very angry about this situation and then they die. So I'm very hopeful this doesn't die because I'll be really sad. It's much more in the light here than it was over there, but we will, we will see. Oh my gosh, I thought I'd just dropped something then. Okay, so we'll come to the mugs. I am debating, I don't know if, if I'll get around to it, but I have put backing paper behind and it's quite a pain in the bum because it's not like straight, it's very wonky, it's a very wonky cupboard and I'm sure I've told the story a hundred times that when we came in the man was like, yeah, you can just tear that down and Stephen was like, she's not going to tear it down she's gonna to wanna to keep that up. So I've got a lot of brilliant Christmas mugs. I've got a few new additions this year um, because I really like the pastel mugs. So I think this is a gorgeous mug. This was from Home Sense. This also was from Home Sense. Tiger has some brilliant mugs in. This I got, I think I got this in Paper Chase sale. Which I mean paper chase doesn't exist anymore. Last year and I kept it. So it's always a really good, if you wanna collect things, look in the sales because and then just if you well, we're quite lucky because i've got a loft upstairs i just keep stuff upstairs then um very old christmas these would have been the first christmas mugs i got these cath kids and ones what do you reckon i reckon the first mug might have been this one uh stephen used to always get me the cath kids and mugs um we've got a lot of shop disney mugs i will say their christmas mugs are so tiny unacceptable that's this year's um a lot of these are presents i mean i am the perfect person to buy a present for mugs candles mugs and candles and disney stuff easy stephen's like just living the best life this is a cute one um this was a matalan um it went on offer and then just at the bottom i just have some little knickknacks from over the years so that's just a decoration i got made when Erin uh, and I went to Winter Wonderland. That was really cute. Um, my friend Dave and Rachel bought this for me many birthdays ago. I think my sister got me that for last Christmas. My friend Sheila got me that. I am easy to buy for because <laughs> people can just buy me festive tat and they know that I'm going to absolutely be thrilled with it. So what a joy for them. Very. I feel like somebody might bought me this. Or did I? I don't know. I don't know where she's from, but she's marvellous. Um, I love these little houses. These are old, but garden centres. Have the batteries run out? Let's see. Yeah, the batteries have run out now. But garden centres have these all the time. In fact, I'll show you a new one that goes with that theme. I love this window. It's by the sink, so when we're doing the washing up or whatever, you just look into the garden. And I always like to have something here. So this is my Nanny Joyce's cake stand, and we've got one of these. Are you going to work? Come on, somebody work. No. Oh, no, batteries are gone. Um, it's from the same gingerbread range as this. You can get them in all garden centres. This is very old Asda. Uh, this is from the garden centre as well. Classic Panatone, which is a really nice candle. You'll have seen that in my home scents. Shop with me. Go back and watch all those because I've got loads of Christmas shopping videos. So this little section is brilliant as well. So there we go. The Christmas decorations are up very excited very twinkly we are off out this evening to go and watch some christmas lights be turned on tomorrow we're actually going to pop to birmingham markets christmas markets i haven't done that this year so it's always so busy though it's 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 a birmingham christmas market is amazing if you want to visit birmingham but boy is it busy but definitely you know come down and check it out and go to the big primark there's a grinch cafe in there at the moment which is super fun so yeah the christmas decorations are up i'm really happy we're all settled we've got some very busy weekends in christmas we've got my birthday we've got erin's birthday 
Um, so that's like two weekends that are pretty much like already written off. Then we've got mine and Stephen's wedding anniversary. I think it's 15 years this year. Was it 16 years? I need to... Stephen, is that you? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a trick question. Are we celebrating our 15th or 16th wedding anniversary this year? 16. You say 16. Are you sure? I'm a 15. He's saying 15. I'll be honest, I don't know. 15. Shall I look at, I got, I, I got the date put in our wedding ring. Our wedding rings have got the date of when we got married. So shall I look? That's terrible, isn't it? What, what are we like? Look how pale I am. Right, we got married. I'm wondering if I need some glasses to see. Stephen, we got married on? 2008. 2008, so it's 15. Yeah, it so I was right. Yeah. Kinda. It's no, it's not, it's 15 years. Yeah, 14 anniversary. I don't know. 14 anniversaries, but 15 years. We don't count the first you don't count the first one. Oh, oh, I really want to go to, I re my dream is for our 20th wedding anniversary is to go to the Polynesian, but now that's further away than I thought it was. <laughs> we were like, oh, it's in four years, now it's in, it's in six years. That's a shame, isn't it? More disappointed. Um, if you would like to see what I got for my birthday, please do let me know. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. I find them really fascinating because it shows, um, it shows you what people really like because their friends and family have bought them what they like, if that makes sense. So do let me know if you want to see that. I could do that probably the next video, I think, because it's my birthday a few days after you've watched this. Whatever you're doing today, have a wonderful day. I hope it's massively festive and I love you lots and I will see you next week for another video. Bye, guys.